Hi! In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up a video surveillance system with more than 100 IP cameras. We can deploy this setup to the applications such as hotel, museum, or factory. Let's think of what we need for this middle or large surveillance system. We need the cameras. The camera catch the video in the scene. We also need the network video recorder. The network video recorder will save the live video from the cameras for the playback. We also can watch the live through the network video recorder on the monitor. We need the switch, both edge switch and the code switch. This switch will connect to each other. We can use the KFIE CASIS Ethernet cable or the fiber optic cable to connect the switch. We also need a control system. You see, we may have multiple network video recorder at the center. We don't want to connect the mouse to each of these network video recorder. We we'll use the control system. Just use single mouse and cable. We can control all the network video recorder. The last thing is the display system. You see, we may have multiple monitor. We could the large big screen, with a small one. We will have the di display metric allow us to switching the display to each of these monitor. Okay, now let's move to the demonstration floor and see how we can put all these things together. This is the demonstration system. Here we got the cameras. This is the PoE switch. All the cameras connecting to this PoE switch. Let's imagine if, if we have 12 floor, this is 12 floor hotels, we can deploy 12 PoE switch on each floor. This is the code switch. It's connecting to all this edge switch. We got the network video recorder. The recorder is connecting to this code switch. And we also have the control system. This is the monitor. We can use single mouse plus the keyboard to connect all this network video recorder. Now let's start from the cameras. All these cameras are waterproof. This is the small one, mini dome camera. It's popular in the hotel. Why? Because the size is small. If we just deploy this large, the Pentel zoom camera. The camera not only have the Zeta optical power zoom, we also can control the camera to pan and tilt. The typical application is we can deploy this Pentel zoom camera outdoor to watch the perimeter. Actually, we also can deploy this Pentel zoom camera indoor. Let's say we want to watch the entrance, but we cannot wire the cable from the control room to the entrance, close to the entrance. In this case, we can wire the cable a little bit far from the entrance and set up the Pentel zoom camera, use the powerful zoom in to cover the entrance. We will leave the, this network switch and the code switch for next video. Now let's move to the network video recorder. These two are network video recorder. We can install up to a unit hard drive to each of the network video recorder. We can record up to 30 days. We connect this both network video recorder to the code switch by using this K6 Ethernet cable. This is the HDMI output and also the USB output. We will connect to this controller. From here, I can use just single cable plus the mouse to switching between the, these two network video recorder. Okay, I'm switching to the first one. Now I'll switch to the second one. I can use the mouse to control each of the channel. You may be thinking that one thing, the first, for the first, for this first camera, you're seeing some kind of circle. That's very important function for the IP camera. It's called human detection. Before we will use the motion detection, but the motion detection is not accuracy. The motion detection just will check the difference between two image. Even there's some like the light change, it will trigger the motion detection. But now, for the new camera system, we can have the mo human shade detection. This image means the camera detects my human shade. They know I'm a human being. They, it's not going to recognize my facial, but it will know I'm a human being. Because a human being will have two ears, will have aunt, or the nose, eyes. Once the, this camera detects a human being, it will send a small message to this network video recorder. So the network video recorder can spawn, it can either start recording. If the cam recorder already recording, it also can flag the section, I mean that part in red. So when you play back the footage, you can just check the section with red. It may not value if you deploy this camera to the place where there are a lot of people walking around 24 hours, like the lobby, because you will always have people walking in and walking out. But 
it will be very value if you deploy the camera from outside to watch the perimeter because you will know when the people are walking around the place. When you watch the live video, check the playback footage, it will save a lot of time. Okay, now I think it's enough for this video. In the next video, we'll talk about how to set up the network switch, this network infrastructure. Also, how to configure the switch to separate the network for just keep some of the camera for this switch. It's very important we set up this network infrastructure for large and middle large system. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in comment section below. Don't forget to follow my next video on how to set up this network infrastructure. See you next time.